Okay, so this stain is all dry now, and um, we scraped and sanded all the sides here to get our full binding nice and uh, consistent and a nice consistent line around our color here. And uh, we've done the same to the bindings on the headstock. We've uh, you know scraped them down and got any excess um, stain off of those areas. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start getting ready to actually put some lacquer and stuff on here. Uh, before we do that, what we need to do is we need to seal out the grain in this wood because if we don't, it's going to suck up the lacquer like crazy. Um, especially, um, you know, these areas here, the uh, where the end grain sticks out the top and the, uh, the quilt. And um, not just that, but this, uh, this Spanish cedar is pretty thirsty uh, stuff, so we want to seal that out so we're not wasting a bunch of um, a bunch of lacquer and whatnot um, trying to build this uh, finish up. Uh, a lot of the guys, what they'll do is they'll use um, an actual epoxy and uh, they'll go over they'll go over top of the finish and uh, they'll use like a straight edge or a razor or something and they'll try to level everything first or try to level everything as they're filling the grain. Um, I find uh, I've found a different way of doing it um, that that works um, much better for me, anyways. Um, I still use the epoxy, so I got a two-part epoxy here, and this is a five-minute epoxy. So we're going to work in very, very small sections. Um, and what I do is, um, instead of using like um, a razor blade or whatever to apply this stuff, um, I just take a gloved hand and I used to use my finger, uh, handy dandy ultra high-tech spreader again. And uh, what I do is I, I really try and work it into the grain. And uh, at this point, what I'm doing is I'm not trying to fill the grain at all. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to seal it. Um, once we get it all sealed and all the pores uh, actually have something in them, uh, then we can start spraying on actual sanding sealer. And that's how we're going to build up and we're going to level off, uh, level everything off or whatever. So instead of doing the leveling with the epoxy, we're just doing the leveling in the next step. Um, the reason why I'm not doing it in the epoxy is because uh, the epoxy goes on very, very thin. And if you burn through the epoxy, um, it, it, it's completely noticeable. So you gotta, uh, that's one thing you gotta be extra, extra careful when you're doing the epoxy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub it in and we're gonna take a little bit of um, four out steel wool and we're just gonna rub it down lightly or whatever to give it some, uh, give it some tooth. And then we're gonna put more epoxy on it. And we're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna start putting a sanding sealer on it and we'll start actually filling the grain with the sanding sealer. But uh, this is just gonna seal it off. So. I know it kind of, you know, uh, sounds almost backwards, right? Using sealer to fill it and using this uh, to seal it. But, you know, like I said, it's a process that um, uh, has worked for me and uh, I haven't had any uh, finishes sink or anything. Um, nothing stinks more than uh, letting a lacquer cure for like, you know, six weeks or whatever and then uh, sanding it back and then finding out eight months down the road that you got little pits in there from, uh, from the pores not being filled properly. Um, I've never had that problem when using this method. So uh, this is the method I use. So what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work in small batches here. So I'll just pull a little bit off of this uh, epoxy. And I'm just going to do a small drop. I would say probably about, I would say half inch in diameter at the most. Okay. We don't want to mix any more than that because this stuff sets up quick and it takes a while to spread because we want to spread it really thin and really push it in to the grain. So uh, mix it around here with your finger. Make sure to mix it thoroughly. Um, you want all of this stuff to be completely mixed. You don't want any, um, any stuff that is not mixed won't set up properly and you don't want any sticky parts on this. You want everything to dry up and uh, cure nice and hard. Okay, that should be pretty good. So now we're going to start with our bindings because they're the lightest color and we want to, uh, they're, now that they're nice and clean and everything, we want to seal them out so that they're, uh, they remain that way. So we're just going to start by applying it here and it will go on rather thick. And uh, so just start and kind of work your way outwards from where you started. And we're really looking to push this into the grain. So, uh, you know, spread it out as far as you possibly can. until it almost feels dry and you can't spread it anymore. I know you're pretty much there. Okay. This stuff just smells lovely too. Yuck. Anyways, um, 
that's pretty much the process for this and this is a time consuming thing because what you want to do is while you're spreading it out you want to keep uh, checking around and making sure you don't have any any streaks or anything um, you're putting it on so thin that it's going to be a very 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 thin thin layer so um, you know you want to keep it as straight as possible and, and as flat as possible because we're not going to be uh, sanding this flat at this step so the flatter it is now uh, the flatter it'll be when we start putting sanding seal around here because any any kind of bumps or grooves or uh, anything like that in this are gonna they're gonna translate to the uh, to the sanding sealer finishes as well. Now you'll notice as you get so, working with this stuff, especially this stuff here, this five minute stuff, sets up really fast. So, you know, you're gonna be kind of limited to how thin you can spread it in some areas. But the main idea is to get it on there as thin as possible and to not leave any excess on the surface. You know, like I mentioned earlier, um, I use this specific epoxy because um, it, it dries rather clear. A lot of them, the hardeners are uh, very amber in color. So whenever you mix the hardener with the resin, it uh, turns the entire mixture amber. And then whenever you apply it to the wood, uh, the wood's going to naturally amber. So you end up with a really, really, um, really amber looking finish. So uh, I like this stuff because it's, uh, I mean, you look at how clear the, uh, the resin and the hardener is. I mean, it's uh, there, there's no no ambering there at all. So any kind of ambering that does happen on the on the actual wood is uh, all natural. Okay, so uh, we're gonna keep going at this. We're gonna go around. We're gonna do all the sides and do all the bindings, get them sealed off, and let them uh, set up a little bit. And then we're gonna go back and do the rest of the instrument. So uh, we'll come back whenever we have the sides done and have a look. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got. Um, this entire body coated with epoxy here. And uh, you can see it's pretty uneven. There's shiny parts and dull parts and shiny parts. Uh, the idea is this, that we got a thin coat on here. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a medium scotch bright pad and uh, we're just gonna take the shine off. So we wanna be careful. We're not doing any leveling here or anything like that. We're just taking the shine off of the top here because we're going to be spraying some sanding sealer over top of this and we don't uh, we want it to have a nice dull surface to adhere to so once again you know not going crazy with it or anything super important that you don't burn through at this point because if you burn through and start taking off the uh, start taking off the stain then we're in trouble. So we'll uh, continue to do that until we get the entire body done and then uh, we'll get ready to start spraying this thing. Uh, we're ready to go pretty much. Uh, just going to mix up some uh, sanding sealer and uh, this model makeshift. Uh, you can see I've just got turnbuckle that I bought and that allows me to spin that allows me to spin the guitar uh, however I need to so yeah we're ready to go here you can see here I've got my dowels um, so we just want to keep as much finish out of here as possible okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna spray three coats of a water-based sanding sealer um, scuff sanding between each coat. I'm not trying to level anything out at this point. I want to start to build up a finish and stuff before I start sanding to level. Uh, so I'll spray the first three coats. I'll let them set up for uh, in between each one probably about a half hour uh, before I, I scuff and then apply the, the next one or whatever. Uh, usually about an hour between coats. So I'll do the first three and then I'll do like um, 
like uh, just a primary level. I won't try to get everything down to a level position just yet. Um, I'll, I'll get it close, but I really want to make sure that I don't burn through on this. So what I'll do is um, I'll do an initial sand. Uh, it won't be anywhere near perfect. Uh, I'll put another three coats of sealer on, and then I'll sand it back and uh, get, it, um, get it completely level. And then it'll be time for a top coat. Okay, so we're all ready to go for our first coat of sealer. We got everything uh, all cleaned up and uh, we got some sealer in the gun and uh, let's get started. Okay, so we got about six coats of sealer on this thing now, and um, what we're going to do um, is I've got some 400 grit sandpaper in a sanding block here, and I'm just wearing gloves just to keep the oils of my uh, skin off of off of the guitar. Uh, we will be giving this a wipe down with naps after we're done and stuff, get all the dust out of it and whatnot. Um, but I just like to make sure that you know keep most of the dust or most of the uh, oils and stuff from my skin off it at this point. Okay, so what we're looking to do here. So we're not going for a total level just yet. Uh, we just want to take down the high spots. Um, you know, any kind of high spots that were kind of in the uh, epoxy coat are gonna, you know, they're gonna translate to this uh, sealer coat now. So we want to try and smooth those out. Any areas um, of grain that haven't been quite filled all the way in and stuff like that, and all the low spots for that matter, we're not gonna worry about those for right now. Um, we're gonna probably put on about another six coats of this and then we'll sand back to those at that point. Um, another thing is we're not going to sand the headstock just yet. We're giving it, just going to give it another light uh, scuff sand um, just because we don't want to make sure that we don't burn through these uh, decals here that I put on. Uh, you know, I don't think six coats is quite enough. You can still see the outline of the decal and stuff uh, pretty predominantly. So, you know, I want to coat that a little bit more before I start sanding on it. So basically, I'm just going to take our sandpaper and... As soon as you start, it's going to become quite apparent where your high spots are. You see right here, where it's taking off more. And just be very careful, especially on the stained area here, because uh, you want to make sure that you don't burn through there. The side of the neck here. And again, this is just a primary level. We're not going for anything too deep here. And you'll be able to feel when it smooths out a bit to the point where it's not rough and it has a harder time sliding along the surface. Um, the water will create resistance when it starts to get flatter. So we'll know we're pretty good. Um, for the time being anyway, so um, we will have to do more leveling to get it completely flat. Okay, so, and you know, let it dry for a couple minutes and then you can kind of look at your progress here. You know, this is a long, tedious process, but um, this is the same basic idea. When we get done the sides and the back and the front and everything, um, and all the areas that are flat, we'll switch from a block um, to just a piece of sandpaper and doing it uh, with our fingers type of deal, kind of just working along at it until we get it, everything to uh, pretty much this kind of state and then uh, once we get it to there uh, we'll clean it up get all the dust off it take it back spray another uh, six coats you know just scuffing it up between coats again once we get it to there we'll start really concentrating on leveling it out at that point too we might be able to do a little bit more with the headstock okay so I'm gonna get to work here get this done and get it ready and cleaned up so we can uh, shoot some more sealer on it okay. 